Hello everyone, uh, my name is Clément Cid. I'm a PhD student at Caltech and I'm working on toilets. So why is that important? Everyone is familiar with toilets in this room, but the toilet we use actually is only used by 20% of the world population. That means that only the first five rows have access to toilets. The other people, no. So, I'm trying to load the presentation, but. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> so, water is important. We all know that, uh, I'm, okay, here we go. So water is important. Uh, it's, it's linked with the life expectancy. And as you can see in this graph, uh, it's clearly shown that the better access to water, the higher the life, the life expectancy. And in developed countries, we saw a high, high rate of, um, okay, sorry, it moves to, uh, by itself. <coughs> um, in developing countries, we see that there is a, a lack of access to good toilets, good sanitation. And at the same time, there is a need for fertilizers. So you see in the circles the, need, the usage of fertilizers. And in the, in the different colors, you see the access, uh, the water diseases in the world. And we see that most of them are situated in Southeast Asia and Africa. Our project, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is working on reinventing the toilet. So here is a scheme of our prototype and how does it work. So when a person uses one of the toilet, the waste goes to a first tank, a primary storage tank, and then is treated in this reactor. This reactor is composed of what we call electrodes. These are metal plates coated with some particles, and, and these are acting on the chloride that is present in urine, transform it into chlorinated species, which are really powerful disinfecting agents. That's what you got in bleach. Uh, and this is treating the human waste. We treat uh, urine and also uh, feces. Uh, <clears throat> once it's treated, the, the, once the water is disinfected, it can be reused for flushing again. And so we have a closed loop system. The energy needed for the system uh, come from the sun and it are vested by solar panels. And at the same time, while we are disinfecting the waste, we are also producing hydrogen. So you can use this hydrogen, uh, run through a fuel cell and get some electricity out of it. So how does it work? Well, we have, we target our wastewater we can treat as toilet wastewater, but also industrial wastewater. Uh, and high salinity waste. And the byproducts we have is hydrogen, the reusable water, and fertilizer too. Uh, the key part of this system is that we can have on-site wastewater treatment uh, available for developing and developed countries. Uh, it's energy sustainable, cost effective, uh, and we don't add any chemical. Everything is created on-site. So, here is a little bit of chemistry uh, for those of you who still rem remind some, some of the high school chemistry. So on one part of the electro on one of the electrodes, we are uh, oxidizing water and create uh, oxygen. But at the same time, we are doing the reaction I talked about with the chloride to chlorinated species. And these are basically breaking down bacteria. On the other side, we are reducing water to hydrogen. So if you come tomorrow to my mini lab, you will have the chance to look at it and see the bubbles. That's pretty cool. Everyone likes bubbles. <laughs> so here is the treatment um, on the big reactor. Uh, this is a five gallon reactor, 20 liters. Uh, so we treat it with primary wastewater. That's the beginning. We go to the sewer treatment plant. We take the effluent. That's really smelly, by the way. Uh, we bring it and we just apply uh, the, we plugged our reactor to the solar panel and we treat it. And we see that after, that's every 60 minutes and after uh, three hours, it's basically treated, transparent. We see the bubbles, it's because we are producing hydrogen and there is a pump mixing everything. Uh, but if we stop, then you see the difference after less than four hours and before the treatment. And 
if you just smell it, it smells like bleach. Well, okay, colors is fun, but uh, we did also biological uh, analysis on, on, what, on what we treated, uh, and we see that after three hours, three, between three and four hours, we have absence of any uh, total coliform, fecal coliform, and E. coli. These are the main bacteria that uh, we are looking for in uh, wastewater treatment plants. Uh, we are also working on disinfection of uh, egg worms. Um, so, and we have a very good results about that. I, I don't have them in the slides. We're still uh, on the research phase. Um, so here is our team. We are uh, six, now six people uh, from Caltech. And I invite you to have a look at our uh, website where you will have a video of how the system works and how we can implement that to different uh, regions of the world. Now we are working on the, what we call the second generation prototype. It will be basically in a shipping container. One part, will, people will have access to a regular uh, restroom. The second part of the container will be our treatment area, so where the waste will be decontaminated and the water can be recycled. And the next part will be a mini lab. So if any of you is going to Pasadena in the next few months, I invite you to come over to our campus and have a look at it and use it. So some of you might be familiar with uh, Caltech. Uh, we are not the only ones actually working on toilets. Uh, I don't know if any of you have looked at Big Bang Theory, but they are also working on toilet prototype. But I think ours works better, but <laughs> let's have a look at it. If this starts. OK, simulated zero gravity human waste disposal test with meatloaf analog in three. Two, one. <laughs> Our doesn't do that. Fascinating. <laughs> what do you think the problem is? Not enough breadcrumbs. <laughs> what the hell is that? Meatloaf? <laughs> what was it doing on the ceiling? That's classified. <laughs> Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them during the breaks or tomorrow at the workshop. Thank you. <laughs>